Someone asked, are they fallen angels in human bodies or are they demonic spirits using human bodies? It's both. One of the things that is quite common with gang stalking is, let me explain how this works. If you are in a situation where you're focusing on something a lot, right? Let me give you an example. Let's say you buy a new yellow car. You buy a new yellow car and before you know it, you're looking everywhere and you see yellow cars, right? Your mind is going to see what you tell it to focus on the most. So you can tell your mind to focus on positive things or you can tell your mind to focus on things that are negative. If someone is going through stress and anxiety about spiritual warfare and they're like, what do I do? What do I do? In order to get into those topics, I'd have to get a little bit more into energy harvesting and energy siphoning. We'll go into a little bit of it. So energy harvesting and energy siphoning is um, not good. It's bad. It is a technique that is used in order to target certain people for certain things and for certain reasons, but it's primarily about an emotional response. So you have to be at a place where you don't care. There's a quote in the Bible that is really great. It's he that cares for his life will lose it. Live your life by a higher purpose. Don't be defined by material things. Don't be defined by temporary pleasures, but live for something bigger. A simple way of doing this is through giving, through giving with love, with compassion, with intention, not giving, expecting to receive something back. But what are you giving out to other people? Are you making other people's day better by, it could be doing charity. It could be going out of your way to help someone. These things are important. And also focus your mind. Stay focused. When you go through each day, don't go through each day just kind of distracted and this and that and this girl and this guy and this person and this thing and these people. Instead, focus with intention on what is it that you want to do, a higher purpose, a higher goal, and put all of your effort, put all of your concentration, and put all of your thought energy into that project and what you're doing. Let's say you work as a janitor and you're cleaning up at a building and you're sweeping up. Don't just sweep and just, okay, let me just get this over with. No, put effort into it, put intention into it, put quality into it, strengthen your mind, focus your mind. A perfect example of this is I was listening to a Jeff Bezos interview and I saw just a quick clip of it. And one of the things that he said was when he delivers a meeting, he always has a six page memo and the entire meeting revolves around that memo. However, in order to do that memo, it typically takes one full week in order to write it. So you're talking about six pages and one week six pages and one week. He says that's because he wants it so clear. It's like angels singing. He wants the thought process. He wants the structure. He wants the mental awareness and mental acuity to be so picture perfect clear that it is pure intentions on what their goals are, on what they want to do, that it was focused. He says part of his greatest gift is the ability to focus. And that might mean one hour a day that you dedicate to something that you love. It could be working out. A lot of bodybuilders work out this way. The Mr. Olympia top 10 type of guys. And Jay Cutler talked about this. Also, Kai Green has talked about this. These are bodybuilders. That when they work out, every single muscle, every single breath, the concentration is there 100% the entire time. And they find it to be very therapeutic and calming and it strengthens their mind, their focus, and their body. So for example, when they're lifting weights, they're not just, let me just get through it, 10 reps, 20 reps. No, every single rep is intentional. Every single rep, they're envisioning the body that they want, how the muscle is developing, the shape that they want. They're paying attention to their breathing. They're paying attention to their posture. There's so much intentionality behind it. And that's why when you look at their physiques, they're so beautiful because they're well-defined, they're thought out, and they're crafted. But read the Bible, pray, meditate, start eating really healthy, start taking walks, get outside, get fresh air. Write out a list of your goals, start working on your goals, whatever those are, and make sure that your choices are reflecting if you were on your deathbed, you'd feel proud of in terms of how you treat people, give to other people, help other people, but at the same time, be rational. 
There is a lot of deception. There is a lot of manipulation. We go into that a lot on this channel. But overall, don't be in fear. Don't be afraid. 